Hi everyone, it's me, Rebecca. Um, I wanted to share my items I made for this week, which is not much because I'm still being bombarded with uh, with the Angry Birds that are driving me bananas. But um, I thought I would take a, a couple of days, or one day actually, to do something different because I needed a break. So anyways, um, first first things I want to thank um, D from D's Design or D's Crochet creations I'm sorry she uh, was I she when she uploaded her video on how to attach ear flaps on a beanie I had asked on the lower question part or in the comments if she could um, show us how to attach braids to the beanies and well I was shocked she did it right away I was so grateful to her doing that. I mean, it wasn't even that hard, but thank you, very, thank you very much for doing that, D. You're such a sweetie. I really appreciate you doing that. So, with that, um, let me go and show you what I have. At least maybe I have like the whole thing done, or I may I may have just part of it done. So, like I said, I needed a break from the Angry Birds. So here we go. Um, yesterday I. I was just looking around on tutorials and I've been wanting to make uh, the wrist warmers or the fingerless gloves that they call them and I went on the I went on YouTube and I saw uh, from Tracy ish she made this I only have one done so like I said I may only have one or the whole thing done so it's it's really really nice so it's real easy this is the front front and back post stitch and then double crochet as you come up with a single crochet double crochet and then I think we did a, a single crochet and then we attach made the hole with some chains I mean it's, it's really really easy um, I already memorized the pattern which is you know not easy for me to do but um, my son like these so much he wants a pair so I told him I wouldn't put the little the shell the shell stitch I wouldn't do this so it doesn't look so feminine and he wants it in the um, he's 11 and he's a, a, a camouflage craze kid so he wants me to make it out of the camel <laughs> so I went to get it for him since he's going to um, he's going to a sixth grade camp in January so he wants to wear them and then um, I also found a pattern I have to remember to write these things down because I always forget but I found a pattern for um, what is this called? Uh, a neck warmer or um, oh god I don't remember the name of it I'm sorry but I think it's a neck warmer and what you do is you know just pull it over your head of course and mess up your hair same time <laughs> and you know just kind of like slouch it down like this or however you want it um, I think like for me since I'm a plus size I think I would have to make it a little bigger for me so um, like I said that's me though so because I I would like a little bit lower to cover more and I, I like I said I want to do an infinity scarf that's what I really want to do but um it's okay you know I have my niece you know right away yeah I want one yes and in Spanish but Dia, Dia, I want one, so of course I'll make her, I'll make her one. And um, let me take this off again, messing up my hair. It's, it's, I like it, it's really, really, really simple. Just a chain and then I'll double crochets. Very simple. And um, my son's school, we're having a crazy hat day. And um, one time I was a... Uh, I was waiting in the car for him to get out, so I started making this for him. And of course, what is it? The Angry Bird hat. And um, and I told him, "Oh, good. Maybe you could, you know, sell some for me. <laughs> get some, get some buyers at the school, you know, since they're having their um their camp soon. So maybe I can get some kids to buy some, you know, from their mothers and I don't know, something, make some money." And then my other kids, my other boys want some now, so I, this one's, I just started the red one. I have to make the face on it still. Okay. 
Next on um, Tracy H, like I said, I needed a break from those. I need a break from those Angry Birds. So I found these. Um, I started off with a small one. They're donuts. But they're pin cushions at the same time. So you just put colored pins on them so it makes it look like sprinkles. I thought it's really cute. So I, started, I think I started out with the perfect size. And for some reason I started getting bigger. I got bigger. And bigger. And bigger. Oops, sorry. This way. And bigger. And I posted them on my face, my Facebook page, and they said it looked like um, they look like real donuts. So I guess that's good, huh? It's good that they look like real donuts. Um, another thing is um, starting again, not finished yet, is um, a, a fat bottom bag. I don't know when I'm gonna get this done. Hopefully soon, because I really want to use it. I really want to. You know, maybe I can get some people to buy some from me or something. I don't know. I think, I think it's nice. It came out really nice. I've never done anything like this. And of course, it's from from Marcel's uh, tutorial. It's great. And um, I was like, I guess when they when they introduced these, um, Naija and uh, and Marcel, when they introduced these, I went crazy just like Naija. Well, not too many, just three. And I made some rings. I made some rings and you know this one's kind of a purple and oops this one's gold with a little like uh, cream color inside the flower and I put a little faux pearl and made the band gold also um this one is um like a lavender purple sorry lavender inside with silver frame and just some little clear beads and then this one is silver with some little silver beads and it's white on the inside with silver trimming. Thanks for that, um, ladies. This is, these are very nice. And um, just easy stuff, and I think which I think are probably going to be Christmas presents. So I just like started making some earrings, some hoop earrings. Uh, well, not hoop, but you know, like circular. Let me put them on so you can see how nice. I like them. I think they're really cute. Oh, I can't get in my ear, but here's one. You can see those. Um, I did a black pair. Um, I did a cream color pair with the gold, like the gold, um, filling, findings, excuse me. And then I did just, just a single red circles. And then I did some little silver oval ones. And then I just, of course, have to match my rings, so I got gold. And then I made the red ones with the big circle on top this time and the little circle on the bottom. And, uh, and then I made, made some red, red oval ones. Or oh, they're, they're like teardrops. And um, that's basically it. I have a, can't find my other round one, <laughs> but it's I have one. Just a round. Oh, never mind. It was a silver one I can't find. But I made a silver one and I can't, can't find the other one. So then I just, I really like the little, the easy slippers or easy booties for babies, which is, I think it's on Bev's 
Bev's Cottage, I think it's called. And I also got these from, I remember, Mikey. Get here. <laughs> um, from Mikey's um, tutorial. And those are kind of like a mauve color. Oh, look, kind of cute color. And then these are kind of like a turquoise color, I believe. And um, that's basically it. Uh, I don't have much to show. Um, like I said, I've been working on those um, Angry Birds, and I really like all your guys' videos. And and I don't know if I... I guess I was just apologizing a lot to Marcel last week, but I want to thank you, Marcel, for letting me be part of this great group of such creative women. Um, I, I can't get over Adrian. Adrian, you're awesome. I can't believe you've only been crocheting for 30 days, and what you come up with is really good stuff, really good things. I mean, you're so creative. Me, me, I'm, I don't create it. I just mostly, um, I guess, I just, guess I just look for patterns. There's some things that I have modified a little bit, but, you know, like, like, like this wrist warmer that I'm going to do. I don't really think it's, I really don't think it's modifying. I'm just like, for so that a male can wear it. Just don't put the shell um, trimming because it looks too much too too girly, I think. So um, that's really it. Um, thanks again for all your great videos. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this group, Marcel. You guys are great. All of you guys are awesome. And um, if I'm rambling, I'm sorry. I probably repeat myself too much. But thank you so much for um, for watching, and I hope I didn't bore you. <laughs> so um, you guys all take care. Have a nice week, and thanks again, Dan. I think your name is Danielle. Thanks again, Danielle. And your children are adorable. They are so cute. Um, trying to get my eleven year old to, to crochet, which I think he will. He's telling, he's telling me he wants to. So um, you all take care. Have a nice week, and um, I can't wait to see the rest of the week's uh, videos. And um, I'll talk to you all later. Okay? Oh, by the way, Marcel, your Hello Kitty hat is adorable. Thank you so much. Okay? Bye-bye.